Hey Pisces, welcome to your general weekly reading for anyone with Pisces in their chart. If you are returning, hey, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to check out your uh, playlist at the end of this video, okay? It has all of your weekly readings there. It has your monthly shadow work readings. I do every full moon. Another one's coming out very soon. And then there's also a timeless playlist where I work with our inner child um, using the major arcana, okay? It's a series I'm working on. You can check that out as well. If you're new here, you can tell that my channel pretty much revolves around healing, so you've been warned, okay? Lots of shadow work, lots of deeper meanings, uh, the larger purpose, okay? Aligning with our soul journey is kind of how I like to look at it, but anyway, you get the picture, okay? So let's get a general theme, okay, for this week. If this message does resonate, please feel free to like the video, comment, subscribe, okay? I love hearing from you guys. I appreciate it so much, and it helps the other Pisces find their uh, message, okay? So, you know, no big deal this week, just three major arcanas, lucky you here, okay? We've got the Temperance card, okay? Sagittarius energy here with the Fool, Aries energy, and Scorpio energy coming in with Death in the reverse. We are either, okay, giving something a second chance, which could very well be here with the Death in the reverse and the Temperance card, saying like we had to wait for it or it's worth the wait, okay? It could also say that we're closing out a cycle. There's something we have to close out before this new beginning can occur. As I said this, the Three of Swords popped out. There's some type of pain here that Spirit wants to talk about this week, okay? What else? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse popped out. It could be referring to your stability, okay? This could be regarding work. You could uh, be questioning what you want to do for a living. You could also be questioning uh, home stability life, okay? The Ace of Swords in the reverse popped out here, okay, while I was shuffling. There's a failure to see some type of truth or clarity. Somebody could be speaking. Mm. It's not even unkind. It's coming in as deceit, as a lie, as not being clear, forthcoming, and it's very hurtful. Clarify this temperance for me. Let's look deeper here. The moon and the knight of pentacles in the reverse again. Isn't that interesting? This is important, you guys. It has everything to do with um, what's going to be a solid foundation for you, what you want to commit to, okay? There's something that you kind of like uh, have been going down a path for a while, but you kind of see that there's um, a dead end, okay? You didn't know, right? You went into this thinking you were going to invest long term here. There also may be um, more to uncover about the situation, which is the underlying purpose, okay, why this all had to happen, because it's coming in as, um, if this isn't somebody with this energy to you, this is your energy here, Pisces, of not wanting to accept this ending, because it's very painful, okay, tell me more about the fool, we have the nine of pentacles, the tower in the reverse, so we have double Scorpio energy on the board right now, two of swords, okay, interesting, interesting, Indecision, not wanting to make a choice because we're not a fan of either option. Here's the great news, okay? There's a lot of major arcana in this theme for this week, Pisces, but the tower in the reverse here, okay? What is this talking about, right? You don't have to have this big shock, okay, of change. You're aware, okay, of what the change is that's needed, okay? Spirit wants to give you the time to make that change, okay? You have more control in the situation than you even realize, okay? And I think that might be part of um, the deceit that's coming in. You're telling yourself you're powerless and you're not at all, okay? Clarify the death in the reverse and then we'll take a look into the past, Okay, interesting. Temperance in the reverse. So we're getting double messages here, guys. It wasn't time for something in the past for it to work out. This may be a return, okay, back to um, an original idea, an original career path, um, a friendship, a relationship, something that had a lot of potential, couldn't develop, needed a break here. Okay, tell me more. 
the nine of wands in the reverse and the two of pentacles yeah to regain balance here you have to let go of the fight okay whatever that means for you here the six of cups just flew out okay this could be talking about a relationship a soulmate connection okay this could also be talking about um you being in alignment you standing in your own light pisces okay living in flow okay everything uh is like i'm very much getting like the six of pentacles card okay like an equal give and take um what i give to the situation i get we're not forcing anything here anything here and this nine of wands in the reverse is talking about needing to swallow your pride okay mm, let's check in with your past okay but that's going to be the theme here returning back giving something a second chance a redo okay but it's really vital for you to decide if the timing is correct okay in the past we have the six of wands coming out along with the seven of wands so we had growth okay in an area of passion this is fire energy aries leo sag this is all about wanting victory okay wanting to fight for it okay being recognized for it the five of coins is here after okay or coming out of a period of feeling really left out okay or going through um a really financially hard time or a hard time um possibly with like depression or mental health okay this is like oh man it's just like overcoming so much darkness finding your way through fighting your way through this is important why this is coming out here okay let's clarify the six of wands what was so victorious here three of cups, some type of connection, a bond. You may have felt really seen, heard, found your voice, okay? This is your energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. Here's, okay, here's what's going on. All right, my loves. So the three of cups, the page of pentacles, and the seven of swords, okay? There was a deep connection. You felt very connected to something or someone, okay? That you really wanted to make some type of offer or invest in with that page of pentacles energy, okay? You could have went back to school. You could have, um, perhaps you had like a degree in one area and you took a job, okay? Um, making less money, but there's higher potential, right? Like something where you were trying to align, but that seven of swords is here, okay? There was some type of deceit, okay? Either someone wasn't completely open or authentic with you, or this is you, okay? Coming in as almost settling, right? Not that the situation is coming in as toxic, it's not. But at the same time where it's like you had so much hope and growth, there's still this lingering energy of feeling left out in the cold here. You're still all alone. You're still doing it by yourself or you're still not, um, there's no payoff yet. Tell me more about this five of coins, please. This Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy. Four of Cups, yeah, talk about feeling left out. Here's what's interesting. Spirit is saying it was almost, um, yeah. See, I think you, again, here's the theme, right? You have more power than you realize. You were doing this because you were rejecting, okay? Everything else, trying to make something work, okay? It's coming in like you were in a bubble, okay? And everything else, you were just like, no, it's an apathetic energy, okay? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse with the Emperor. You were standing in your power here, okay? You felt like you were very sure. You felt very, um, you took the lead here. You made a call. You made some sort of decision, okay? And that's actually what led, the, uh, excuse me, what led this energy into your life of, again, financial hardship, okay? Uh, mental health issues, okay? Anxiety is coming in. That Ace of Pentacles is really shining right now to me, being in the reverse next to that Four of Cups. There were opportunities for um, other advancements, okay? Possibly other uh, job offers, okay? Other dates you could have gone on, whatever that means for you, okay? Six of coins in reverse, did I not say, right? You were giving too much or expecting too much from a situation, but you definitely did not feel fulfilled. There was the potential 
to feel fulfilled. But I feel like it turned into you kept giving and giving and giving or expecting more and more. Okay, you would know. Let's uh, check in with your current energy, Pisces. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands with the Fountain in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Now, I want to, I do want to know, okay, that the Shadow card is the Chariot in the reverse here, okay? So, you're being encouraged to not make uh, any firm choices yet, okay? Let's just evaluate what's going on. Let's take an honest uh, inventory of what's surrounding us, of what we're feeling on the inside, okay? Let's measure the gap, okay? What we're trying to work towards and what we're lacking. Because the Queen of Wands in the reverse here with the Fountain in the reverse is saying that this is really going to require you to swallow some type of ego, okay? We saw that with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, absolutely. This is probably related to the death in the reverse energy as well. A cycle not ending, okay? That you may be trying to force, okay? Or again, that you may be trying to force to end that still needs some type of work or closure or realignment, whatever that means. Again, apply it to your situation, okay? The fountain in the reverse is here to remind you that this is for your soul's growth. This is a part of your soul journey, okay? Even if you feel like crap, even if you still feel that energy of left out, in the cold or nothing ever works out for me, I promise you the divine sees you, okay? This is the energy of moving you into alignment. Something has to be blocked so you understand something. And what's coming up here? The Ten of Cups, okay? We are going to clarify this, but it has to do with love, a family dynamic, the way you show love, the way you expect love or are attached to love, okay? It's in the upright. It's a beautiful energy, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You feel ready to give, okay? Where in the past, you may not have felt capable of maybe giving what you expect, okay? You may be discovering that you require a lot, right? Are you able to show up for yourself and give what you're asking? The Queen of Cups, yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's why this is here. You are being moved into alignment, maybe to really find your soulmate, connect deeper with your soulmate, whatever these blockages are, it's to align you with light and love, okay? This is surrounding you here. Remember that the Queen of Cups, okay? Water energy, Pisces, right? Um, she is able, okay, to show the amount of love she does, which is the most love one can feel for another in tarot, okay? Because her own cup is so full. She's constantly nourishing herself. She effortlessly overflows, okay? And so that those that are around her in her safest space are just nourished, okay? With that love, compassion, empathy, connection, that beautiful Three of Cups energy that looks a little bit forced in the past, okay? So be mindful. When did you try to force something in the past that you knew wasn't meant for you, okay? Page of Cups. Yeah, you're ready to offer this to somebody. You're here showing up. I can offer what I expect. I'm ready. So tell me more about the Queen of Wands in reverse then. Okay. Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four of Oh, excuse me. The Five of Cups in the reverse. There's this energy of wanting to let go of how things were in the past. Okay. P possibly like even how you communicated with this cups energy, right? Like how you communicated your emotions or how you connected. Um, it's coming in like you met yourself deeper with that five of cups in the reverse. You're letting go of so much hurt, pain that probably had nothing to do with the connection that uh, this is talking about, right? It's just something that you've been carrying within you, okay? There has been healing. The divine sees you. And I've been doing your readings for almost six months now. I've seen it as well, right? Here's the thing though, okay? You're very distracted, okay? By something that is very shiny, okay? There's an attachment to an outcome somewhere that is very important for you to evaluate. When we were trying to look into it, that it was coming up with the moon, right? And the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. What, so it's something in your subconscious. It's something that is either a cycle or a pattern with this death card in the reverse that keeps coming up, an emotion. It could be anxiety. Look deeper into why. Notice when you're having it, where you're feeling it in your body, okay? It's really vital here because you're being moved into the light, but again, something needs to be released for you to grow, okay? You've reached the glass ceiling here. We're ready to evolve. 
So let's check in with uh, the energy that's surrounding you for Pisces. Okay, King of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Three of Wands in the reverse, Aries, Leo, Sag, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag in the reverse. So there's a withdrawal here completely, change of plans, okay? Uh, something or someone that was once very stable or secure, no longer, there's no more, it literally is coming in like no more future. I don't feel like this is in alignment for me, okay? You or them, but it's a big block okay tell me more about the three of wands in the reverse please the high priestess and you know it pisces this is your energy here okay i really feel like um if you feel if you have felt tempted to reach out to someone or if someone comes towards you there's not a conversation needed. There's an inner knowing. You see the situation very clearly for what it is, okay? We've had the Ace of Swords come up in the reverse, but we also clarified that it, you were lying to yourself about it, okay? Um, you were betraying yourself about it by not looking at all the facts, all the hidden layers behind it, understanding the deeper meanings, okay? I did a video on the High Priestess. Feel free to check that out. It's in the Timeless playlist. But it's about accepting duality, right? The universe works on balance here, okay? There's good, there's bad. When you accept that, you can see the truth. Four of swords in the reverse and the two of cups. Yeah, this could be related to a, um, a love connection, a soulmate connection. It, it's also coming in like having the potential of connecting you with your higher self on a very deeper layer. Again, this is another opportunity for you to meet yourself on a deeper layer, okay? The Four of Swords in the reverse, though, is here to remind us, okay, that we are not taking care of ourselves. We're too concerned with what's going on in their mind, what they're thinking, where they're heading, what they're going to do, okay? You're going to burn yourself out like this, okay? Go with it. With that said, let's do some advice, yeah? That's a very anxious, high anxious, worry, stressful situation, okay? Be very mindful and take care of yourself. Page of Swords. Interesting. The Devil in the Reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. My loves. My loves, my loves. This is serious here. Capricorn energy, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Destiny is coming through here. The wheel is spinning in your favor. This is all about detaching. Wait till I show you the shadow card. This is all about detaching, okay, from something that has been very toxic to you all along. And I'm not even talking about a connection. That's just the surface layer. That's how it's playing out to get your attention right now. Do you notice the patterns? You've probably experienced a lot of the same emotions or anxiety triggers that you're experiencing now in other connections okay i'm not even telling you like this is um again meaning having to do with a specific person it's the inner subconscious okay remember what your current energy was with the ten of cups okay how you know love how you show love how you expect love you are detoxing almost from like this like obsessive um, attachment. Maybe it has to look like this. It has to be like this. You're learning, okay? You're learning the truth. And your shadow card, the lovers, okay? It's all about bringing you in closer to your soulmate, connecting you with your soulmate, absolutely. But you can only do that in truth, okay? In high priestess mode, in the lovers, okay? I just did a video on that as well. It's all about living life through um, your values, okay? And sticking with the path of alignment, right? Then any, everything and everyone that's meant for you is in that light, okay? You don't have to go searching. Slowly, you're seeing this. You're starting to understand, okay? Be mindful, okay? Be mindful that you have a lot to learn. That's your advice, okay? Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. What is this blessing from the divine here? <laughs> Double message again. It's very important. The devil in the reverse. Guys, I don't know what else to say. Okay. 
The blessing is the fact that you don't have to suffer anymore. Now you can live free. You're not a prisoner, okay? There's um, not searching outside of yourself for anything anymore. You're able to provide that, right? You've met the deepest layers of yourself. Now you can advance. So the universe is pretty freaking stern on that. Let's clarify the devil in the reverse, okay? The five of wands... The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. You guys, there's going to be a trigger, a test, okay? And your advice is to detach, to recognize it for what it is, okay? A lesson, right? An opportunity for growth here. An opportunity to tell the universe, to show the universe, I'm ready for the Wheel of Fortune. I'm ready for the wheel to spin in my favor. Can we just take a moment to acknowledge the divinity on your board as well here in your spread? Okay, the temperance, the wheel of fortune, the lovers, right? The fountain is here, the ten of cups, okay? The high priestess, the level of divinity is so high, okay? But everything that's attached to this devil energy is anxiety, is feeling left out in the cold, which was coming in through your past, okay? It's all connected. Like I said, it's deeper than just this connection, Pisces. And it's really important that you recognize this, okay? Okay. The Five of Wands is showing me that there may be some type of conflict that triggers you, okay? So be mindful of that, please, okay? Recognize it, again, for what it is, an opportunity for growth, okay? That is what I'm seeing for those that are interested. I will pull a Romance Angel Oracle card and a Divine Feminine Angel card, um, if the reading resonated, please feel free to like the video, comment down below, and again, subscribe. I do offer private readings. I also offer shadow work coaching sessions. My email is in the description box, okay? For the Romance Angel Oracle card, we got let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. There you go, okay? You may feel like you want to control because you're like, I know this is my person. Like, don't tell me otherwise good right that's a great thing then know that you and your person are about to meet the most deepest layers of each other let it go right oh <laughs> half the deck wants to come out for the divine feminine let's just pick one shall we here we go two okay the warrior the warrior saints i am a warrior of love my devotion attracts resources and support that's right and our lady of the hermits i transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love please be mindful this is a beautiful message for you okay that's amazing so that's what i have for you pisces i hope that this was helpful and i'll see you on the next one bye